And I, I will tell you that the whole system is designed to, to take care of 18 to 24 year olds. So, so, so we, we've built up a system of higher education that, that is aimed at taking, taking kids before they enter mom or dad's business and parking them for four years so they can, they, can, they can learn something. And the way that we talk about universities is filled with this kind of uh, imagery. Student experience, residential, residential students. In some cases still, you know, the parental view of, of what, what the university is, is for. And boy, the world has moved so far beyond that. 18 to 24 year olds are no longer the predominant source of college students. It's what we used to think of as non-traditional students. These are returning servicemen, new arrivals to the US, people, late, later life learners who are coming back for a second or third career that need to be, uh, that need to be re-educated. Um, re um, and, and the policy has not, has not kept up with that. I, I heard, I, I've been on, a, been on a, um, a, a trip gathering information for the, for, the, for the new book, and I'm just kind of filing away crazy ideas that I laughed off you know, one night and then woke up in the middle of the night and said, well, maybe, maybe that's not such a crazy, crazy idea. If, if, if we really want 18 to 24 year olds to have a good college experience, why in the world are we relying on universities to do that? We should be subcontracting that out to Disney. <laughs> Who knows more about creating an experience? Um, and and I, I, I heard that idea and thought it was, and thought it was, it was a joke, but, there, but there's an element of, of rational thought here. Um, maybe we should be not operating dormitories. Maybe we should be figuring out what part of the student experience really should be done by a third party who knows what they're doing and priced, and, and, and priced accordingly. Um, one of the reasons that we got to a $6,000, $7,000 um, price tag for the, for the online master's program was we were able to filter out costs that had nothing to do with what a terminal master's student wants. Someone who's coming to Georgia Tech for a master's degree really doesn't care about the athletic fee. So that goes. You know, they really aren't going to live in a dormitory. So all the costs associated with that, with that go. And every one of those discussions was a very tough discussion both within Georgia Tech and you know, within the university system. But we got to this $6,000, $7,000 degree by saying, so what is really our cost in getting that student a Georgia Tech quality quality degree? Well, it's something south of $7,000. Productivity increases, what we thought the market would, would bear, what we thought we needed by way of new faculty, and $7,000 is a comfortable, for 10,000 students, is a comfortable, is a comfortable price point. Uh, that needs to be thought out on a large scale by many hundreds of institutions.